Hello everyone, it's Ed bringing you all things Leeds, I hope you're all doing really well or as good as you can be after Saturday's result of course Leeds United lost 1-0 to Charlton Athletic away at the Valley. Uh, now this is my match review and firstly I do just need to say that I wasn't able to watch this full game uh, as I was doing media work at Farsi Celtic who have a lo local non-league football club here in Leeds. So this review is based off of uh, what I've heard, what I've read and also what I've seen from highlights as well uh, if you want a full in-depth report of the game then make sure you go and head over to the all things these website check out the blog section and check out the report from the game written by johnny chick who is a fantastic writer uh, for the all things these website i do recommend that you go and follow him and check out his work because he really is a fantastic writer uh, but going on to my thoughts so based off of the standards that leads have set themselves we were off it was, it was an off day for leads we were poor uh, probably the worst performance of the season so far. But, and this is going to sound like I'm really contradicting myself here, in terms of possession and chances created in shots, we dominated the game and, and we shouldn't have lost. Uh, anyone who says that we didn't deserve anything from the game, I really would disagree with them. It was just the same case of we dominate a game but just struggled to score. We, we struggled to put away our chances and we, we say it so many times, don't we? We've said it so many times and it's just a real problem um, at the moment. Uh, same as last season. If it, is it a hangover from last season? Probably, but it's a real problem. We, we just struggle to, to score and put away chances. Um, we struggled to break Charlton down, uh, who, who for the majority of the game just sat back. And we need to learn how to break teams. Uh, teams like these down because uh, the majority of sides who we play uh, in the championship are going to set up like Charlton did and uh, we need to learn how to break uh, teams down. Is it a mentality issue? Probably is. Um, how do we go from the start of the season we scored so many goals to right now struggling to score goals? Uh, it's a real problem uh, at the moment. Uh, we're just not clinical enough and things need to improve and things need to be worked on. And again, we see the same problems uh, defending uh, from set pieces and uh, crosses. We just struggle uh, to do that. Charlton, of course, went 1 0 up on 32 minutes uh, from a corner. So the corner was in towards Lockyer in the box. Uh, his shot uh, was parried by Cassia. I don't know what Cassia is doing there, really. It was a poor effort of a save. Uh, he should have just caught it, but instead he parried it out straight to um, Macaulay Bond, who was right in front of him, and it uh, deflected off him and went, to, it went into the back of the Leeds net. Very poor goal to concede, same problems again from set pieces. I and mean, we really are missing someone who's just big and strong in that box to defend a set piece and crosses. 1-0 uh, at half-time, uh, the first time we've been behind at half-time in a game uh, this season. Uh, at half-time, he also he makes two, ch two changes and changes the formation. He brings on Eddie Nketiah for Alioski. And uh, Forshaw came on for Shackleton. Uh, Forshaw, for me going forward, I think he needs to start. I never thought I'd be saying that, but Forshaw needs to start for me, especially ahead of Shackleton. Forshaw just gives a little bit more uh, solidarity in that midfield. It gives Phillips a bit more cover because Phillips was he had a poor game, did Phillips, and, and he was quite uh, wide open, really. Um, <clears throat> but also, he, he reverted the formation to a, a 3 5 2. Uh, so, Nketi and Bamford were up front, uh, which was interesting. Um, I don't know what this was. I don't know if he works on this, but. It's definitely different from the 4 1 4 1. Um, and Phillips, uh, Ben White, and Cooper made up a back three. And Phillips, yes, he had a poor game, but he, he cannot play a back three for me. He cannot play in a back three. Um, and again, through the second half, just missed chances. Costas in the end. Uh, and Ketia and Costa missed a few very good chances. Um, and Charlton managed to hold on and uh, pick up the uh, 1 0 victory as our first away defeat of the season. So our 100% away record is gone. Um, and we need to improve. We need, we need to improve it. It's as simple as that. Things need to be worked on, especially uh, in the striker uh, department uh, and also defending from set pieces. Things need to improve. Things need to be worked on. And things need to change as well, whether that's formation, whether that's tactics, whether that's players. Uh, for me, as I said, for sure, it needs to start ahead of Shackleton. Uh, for sure, just adds something else in midfield, gives us that solidarity. Tyler Roberts, when he came on in the second half of Bamford, I thought he had a good game and I'd start Roberts on the left-hand side for Jack Harrison going forward. Jack Harrison, for me, had another poor game. I don't really know what he offers. Same things with Harrison. He, he just his, his, end product, his end product is poor and I, and I would uh, start Tyler Roberts moving forward. Stuart Dallas had a very poor game against Charlton. Would you drop Stuart Dallas? 
because he has been brilliant so far this season, just the one poor game here. Um, would you put Luke Kaling back in? I'm, I'm not so sure. That's a that's a big selection headed there. And it's not my decision, of course. It's Bielsa's job to make those decisions. Uh, but we, we, something does need to change. We just need to go all out, really, um, moving forward because yeah, things need things need improving, things need changing. Uh, we slipped to fourth place in the league on 17 points. We've still not uh, dropped below fourth in the league uh, under Bielsa, which is a remarkable stat. Uh, we are two points off of uh, the league leaders, West Brom, uh, who we, of course, play at Ellen Road uh, on Tuesday night. It's a big game. It's a tough game. Uh, but we need to win. Or we really will fall behind quite badly. The table is still very, very tight. And if we lose that, who knows where we'll end up. So, big game, tough game on Tuesday night against West Brom. But, but we do need to win. Um, but we do, of course, move on to Tuesday night. I am uh, going, of course, seeing Tick Old himself stand. I'm looking forward to the game uh, as much as I can, really. I am quite buzzing for it. Uh, but there will, of course, be a preview for that game. There will be a vlog uh, from that game, so look out for those. But for now, if you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to give it a like. That'd be very much appreciated. Let me know your thoughts on the Charlton game uh, in the comments section below. Uh, share the video around. That'd be very much appreciated. Subscribe and follow. And take care, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.